Hello and welcome to Frontier Markets Nigeria. I am Justina Okechuku. And now we bring you a lowdown of how the markets performed at the close of trading Thursday, December the 2nd. Trading in the equities market continued on a bearish note as the NGX All Share Index declined 0.51% to 42,247.98 basis points. Now, looking at the gainers list, Maya PLC was up 10%. Name Insurance rose 7.33%. Real Exchange was up 5.88%. Japan Gold was up 5.26%. And Shams PLC was also up 4.76%. On the flip side, Bog Glasses Nigeria was down 10%. UPDC PLC was down 9.09%. Translation Wide was down 8.99%. Living Trust Mortgage Bank was down 8.33%, and Axa Mansa was also down 7.89%. Meanwhile, NGS Group also dipped 1.18% after rising 3.66% on Wednesday to close at 16 naira 80 copper per unit, with a total of 3.398 million shares traded in 99 deals worth 57.606 million naira. At the NASD OTC market, total volume of shares were 6,688, valued at 356,563 Naira, as the NSI closed flat at 744.12 basis points. At the FMDQ Securities Exchange, a total of 20.979 billion Naira worth of bonds, Nigerian Treasury bills and OMO papers were traded on the platform. While the central bank special bills finished off with just one deal worth 1 billion naira, at a discount high of 5.60% and a low of 5.60%. At the IE window, the naira appreciated by 0.06% to trade at 414 naira 80 copper per dollar, at an intraday high of 457 naira 2 copper and a low of 404 naira to the USD. Open repo rates contracted by 0.50% to close at 15.00%. Now to the market news. MTN Nigeria and Airtel have qualified for the Nigerian Communications Commission 3.5G Spectrum Auction. Airtel Africa completes the minority shareholding buyback of Airtel Nigeria for 61 billion naira. Okomo Oil Palm forecast 4.5 billion naira profit after tax in the first quarter of 2022. Transnational Corporation of Nigeria's board meets December 15 to ratify third quarter results. And that'll be all for you today on Frontier Markets Nigeria. To join us again tomorrow, I am Justina Okechuku. Bye for now.